Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Right now we are uh, we're on the road. We're heading out to the water. Um, well, actually first we're gonna grab some live shrimp. I think we're gonna take it, uh, have, have a fun day today. We're gonna catch, grab some live shrimp and uh, we're gonna do a little uh, fish for whatever bites type of day. Um, hopefully some mangrove snappers, some sheep's head. Uh, I got some ice so maybe I'll keep a few fish. Um, maybe we'll catch some redfish. We should catch some redfish. We saw a lot of them last time I was out and uh, I think I'm gonna try to find some of those some of those as well, but we'll start looking for some mangroves Maybe some uh, sheep's head and uh, yeah, we got to grab some live shrimp first and uh, weather's looking decent for today I just think the weather is gonna kind of go downhill as it gets closer to midday some storms should come in and uh, So I'm gonna try to get in and get off the water quick catch the fish have some fun. So stay tuned Let's go grab some live shrimp Well, I know I just said we were gonna go grab some uh, live shrimp and I really wanted them, but they didn't have any live shrimp, which is very unfortunate and uh, I guess unlucky, but we got some uh, fiddler crabs. I guess that's cool. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, fish for the same species just with fiddler crabs. Honestly, they'll work just as well. I did want to just mix in some live shrimp today. I haven't done that in a while, but we're on a fiddler crab grind today. so. Let's go to the ramp, catch some fish, let's do it. All right guys, so we are out here and we're ready to, ready to catch some fish. So I'm gonna walk you guys through my setup some we'll be fishing for today at the beginning of the video. Um, so hopefully that'll answer some of your questions. So right here with a uh, fiddler crab setup, I'm gonna be fishing. It's pretty much the same thing I'd fish with a live shrimp setup. Just a 2500. This is a uh, this right here is a Penn Slammer 4 2500 on a Fenwick Elite inshore. This is a uh, seven foot medium model, and then uh, we just got 30 pound leader. If you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There's just a little 1-0 J hook on there as well. And then I'll keep this rod at my side for maybe some snook or maybe if I see a big aggressive redfish or something that's maybe not an ideal. Uh, fish for a little tiny fiddler crab, which is just a 2500. This is the new Penn Authority on a seven foot medium heavy rod. Just got this in, it's rated for uh, 20 to 40 pound. Got 20 pound braid, 30 pound leader, and then a little mullet right here. So we'll keep that at my side. I'll give you guys some tips along the way as to how I fish fiddler crabs, and uh, hopefully, we can catch some good fish some redfish, some sheep's head, some mangroves. Maybe if I'm lucky, a snook. Stay tuned, guys. Let's get fishing, try to catch something good. All right, we'll get us started here. These crabs are pretty little, which is fine, but a little bit more difficult to hook. Got this, uh, I guess you could call it a J hook, maybe a live bait hook. Um, it's a little offset. I'll push it through the side of their body right here and out their back. I think there's a handful of ways you can rig a fiddler crab, but this is the way I do it. And just like that, that was not perfect crush the shell just a little bit you want to go through there try to sl be really slow with it wiggle it through and uh that should be a perfect rigging job but right here i saw some sheep's head up on this piling so i'm going to drop it in there the sheep's head that's here is absolutely playing me every time i drop it down he's stealing it oh that's a bite he's got it no he's munching on it He's got it that time. There he is. Oh. You know what that was? That was a pinfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on from the stock. I had one sheep's head come up to the crab and not, uh, well, he pegged at it, but just didn't get the hook and he was pretty small. So in that case, when there's fish that are on a dock that are being finicky or they are small, we just move on to the next dock. There's a fish. What is this? Oh. Absolute stud pin fish. There's a bunch of fish under him. Absolute stud pin. Alright, get up here. That is a big pin fish. Came off right up under that dock. Not a targeted species for the day, but these guys were great for snook and redfish and all sorts of stuff. So, this guy is pooping everywhere. Please chill. <laughs> Cool little species, but not anything we're trying to catch. Some just smoked it. Oh my gosh, this is not what I wanted to catch here. It's 
species number two of uh, anything that bites. Check this out. A little puffer fish here. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. There we go. There we go. A little bit on the small side, a little bit. Just a little bit. Looks like maybe about a nine inch. I think these guys have to be um, 10 or 12. I got to double check, but this one is definitely not keeper size. Nice sheep. Nice sheep. Nice one. I really like catching these guys. They are pretty dang strong for their size. You know, this one's only uh, probably nine or 10, but I'll pull the drag a little bit. Okay, we'll pull the drag. All right. up the bale, let him go through the dock here. Swim right through here. Oh no, this person does not have a friendly dock for this. Oh, I gotta get my camera off the back of the boat. I can't get under there. Oh, Big Red crushed the crab. Fish is literally right here. Fish is right here. Let me just guide you out, buddy. Come here, bud. I gotta wiggle this fish out some way or another. I think I can get it to swim at me. I just really don't want this line touching any oysters. Or not oysters, barnacles. This fish is just hanging up right in there. I just want to... This sucks. Alright, we're just going to have to... We're going to have to chase this fish. This is possibly the worst dock to hook a big red around. There's a billion pilings right here. sliding this rod around all this garbage. All right, this fish should be right here. fish out right here come on come on just sitting under the dock in the shade come on all right this is really bad I think I've got this fish now I just needed to slide underneath this dock I barely make it so we should be out in the open water now this fish I think is right under the boat Right under the boat somewhere here. There he is, right there. Oh, right 
there. Oh, I need to drop the trolling motor. All right, let's get this fish out. <laughs> oh my God, we got him. Loosen up a little bit here now that we're out. I tightened up pretty good there around the dock, but we had to go under that dock right there through several pilings. This is a big red fish. <sighs> Very nice red fish. What a fiddler crap. I had to take my camera off because I couldn't fit under under the uh, dock with the camera because the camera sits up on my cooler. <sighs> oh, smashed the crab. I just threw it right in front of him. Look at that fish. Threw it right in front of him, just slid right up to it, and then whoop, got it. There was one behind it as well. I think this fish is about 30 inches, maybe 32, but not a whole lot. I could do right there in that structure. It was not a good spot to hook a fish. Oh, it is a good fish though. We got 20 pound braid to 30 pound mono leader and a 1OJ hook. So I'm gonna take it kind of easy on this fish, but should be able to get him up about now. Should be about done this fish. Come on. Oh my gosh, I think that redfish is bigger than I thought. Oh my. Come on up. What a redfish for a fiddler crab. <laughs> oh. It's like if you ever see fly fishermen throwing really tiny little flies for redfish. This fish was a lot bigger than I thought. They eat them, they eat little baits. Not a good hook set. Yeah, this fish is a lot bigger than I thought. It's about maybe a 15 to 20 pound redfish. Ah, about a 15 pounder. Just a really strong fish. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna bring him around here. Put him right on the ruler here. We'll get a good measure and do a quick release because I've kind of had this fish hooked for a while. I don't want to overstress it. Wow, what a redfish. <laughs> this fish was a lot bigger than I thought. I think he's about a little over 30. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, fish is about on zero right there. We're measuring them all the way back. We point the tail a little bit. We got 35 inches. 35 inch red on a fiddler crab about this big. How cool, man. How cool. That should do it right there. A little J hook, so tiny. All right, let's let this fish go. What a beauty! What a beauty! I would hold her up for the back camera, but it is not set up right now, so we'll just keep it easy, simple measure, and back in the water for a beautiful. That fish is 20 pounds. She shot off. Oh my gosh! Well, it does not get any better than that. There, 35 inch red on a fiddler crab this big it's so crazy there were two coming in a line there swimming up under the trees just real slowly I made a cast right in front of them so the second they came out of the trees they were looking right at that crab starting to sink down right in front of them and just popped it that was a fight going under that dock i had to lift i've never had to do that before lift the trolling motor out of the water so i could make the clearance of the boat as low as possible and then pull myself under the dock and it was really just she went through one piling but the problem was that piling was or the, the dock was super low so i was trying to figure out how do i get under the dock to get her out that fish was definitely bigger than i thought definitely bigger 35 and i'd, I'd say that fish is probably 15 to 20 pounds a really heavy fish it was like a football so after coming off of three fish a sheep's head a pinfish and a puffer that maybe combined for two pounds to get that thing hey that's that's so that's it is so sick so I'm gonna keep fishing here. The storms are starting to look like they're uh, building up here. So I, I gotta just see what I can do, but I don't wanna get caught up in a storm here. So honestly, if I could get one or two more good fish, that would be a solid day for me. So let's keep fishing. Oh my snook! That's a bite! 
That's a fight. That's a fight. That is a bite and a half. I don't know if you guys saw the first snook that chased that thing down, but he was on it. Oh my God, that fish was on it. There was three others sitting right next to him. Sling it right in there, twitch it across, and they reacted the exact same way. Oh my gosh. That's why I keep the little mullet nearby. This fish is not in a good spot. I don't know. Oh, I got a good hook set. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I, that first chase down was insane. That fish was doing circles right here on it. I'm decently afraid here. Let me see if I can grab this fish right here. Make this quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. On the little mud. That's how fish will react to this thing. Oh my gosh. i wait for this truck to pass. All right, so incredible, incredible eat right there. Two, really two back-to-back -back incredible eats. Let's get a measure on this fish here. Beautiful. I haven't still set my camera up in the back, so sorry guys, only chest mount view here, but a 30 and a half incher smoked, smoked it. And I think the first one I wanna say was bigger. They were fired up. That is why I keep a little mullet at my side there when I'm fishing, you know, like something like fiddler crabs were. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Let's go. Well, truly an absolutely amazing sequence right there. Um, I, I cannot wait to get home and watch that on the computer in slow motion. The first fish, I just slung it in front of him, twitch, twitch, twitch all over it. I, I don't remember if he took a pop shot at it, but nose up on the bait the whole way doing circles around it every time I twitched it. Um, I, it did hit it right there at the end, I believe, and I slung it back on there to try to get it in front of him, maybe get a reaction, but I think the fish got a feeling what was going on. But there was three fish next to that first fish that chased it out, slung it right in front of them, twitch, twitch, inhaled it, and two of the, two fish were chasing it. One actually got it, that's the one I landed, but they were all over that. I think there was four snook there and three of the four were going berserk for it. So incredible. That was so, so sick. Right now, if you guys can see right here, I'm about to get absolutely smashed by rain. Uh, might not look it, but it is pretty dark right there and the rain is coming. So uh, I might have to take shelter here for a little bit. Hopefully it passes. Um, that is honestly getting really close. So I'm gonna put this camera away and uh, I'll meet up with you guys maybe after this rain or We'll see what happens here. There's a big snook sitting super shallow here. I'm gonna have to tighten up. He should eat. Watch this. He's on it. Come on. Oh, he's all over it. All over it, but didn't commit. guy there's a little guy now that was not oh he frayed me he didn't frame me he guilt plated me ah that never feels good but that he's just beat me he just beat me there's not really much i can do about a guilt plate there he turned one the other direction he had to add that line right up under that gill ah i was 30 pound Dang, man, he's he's probably 20 inches or so, 20 inches or so, about that big. But uh, I hate I hate losing fish. That never makes me feel good like that. Oh. Big sheep, big sheep. There it is. There it is. Sorry, you guys probably can't hear anything with the airplane. There we go. All right. <laughs> what timing for that one? 
saw a good wake up on this uh up on this uh piling here so i said might as well throw it in there it's got to be probably a sheep or something eating off the piling so that's a good one threw the fiddler crab in there and he smoked it it's kind of what i've been inspecting expecting a lot whoa expecting a lot of today that is a nice one that is a nice one go ahead and lay him down here i guess he's about 15 inches so about on zero yeah he's about 15 maybe stretch him 16 is is it raining right now no it's not raining all right all right it's a really nice sheepy we're gonna go ahead and take this guy and put him in the cooler. I bring did bring some ice today, so I'm gonna put him in the cooler, bring him home, make something up good with him. But hey, that's a nice fish. All right, well, I got one more idea. It is uh, almost one o'clock. We've done decent today. I'm gonna take the fiddler crabs over to the bridge, drop them down, and see what I can pull up, which I've, I've never fished a bridge, like pretty much period, on my channel. So hopefully there's some big fish up under the bridge and uh, get one more fish. If not, it'll be the end of the day. There's some. I don't know what I got. It feels like it might be a catfish or a big sheep. It's big. It is big, whatever it is. It is either. <sighs> Dang, it's big. <sighs> Might be a big sail cat. That's what I. No, I don't think it's a sail cat. Maybe a black drum? I need a fiddler crab way down there. Oh, it's exactly what I thought it was. Man, that fish stumped it. That was sick. There's our fish. That is a big fish under the bridge. Check that out, big black drum. I don't know how well you guys can hear me right now. I know the cars above are pretty loud. But thump that thing on the fiddler. <sighs> nice fish. <sighs> oh, there you have it. Big, ugly to end the day. About probably a, uh, maybe a 27, 28 inch black drum clapped the fiddler down there. I wanna say this is the last fish. I'm gonna go take another fiddler down there and see if maybe I can get another bite, but if not, this probably will be the last fish. Not quite what I was expecting, but what I was hoping for. So sick, that is awesome. Come on, buddy. Taking a long time to revive here. I'm not exactly sure, right? Why, probably was out for maybe a minute at most. Come on, fish. Oh. That's a swim off there. All right. Well, like I said, not what I was expecting, but what I was hoping for came off the fenders there. So I'll throw on one more fiddler crab, maybe get another one. If not, I'll run in from these storms here, but we've got some good fish today. Let's get out of here. Well, a 
another absolutely incredible day down. I pretty much did everything I set out to do, which was uh, knock out some good fish. Um, keep, kept, oh, well, I kept one. But I'm planning on keeping a few, but one good sheep's head is just about perfect for me. So that being said, um, I really enjoyed today. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys maybe learned something or entertained, got something out of today's video. And if you did, let me know down in the comments. And I think that is it for me today. Storms are kind of closing in. I gotta pull the boat out of the water here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, we really whacked them, honestly. Caught just a handful of really good fish, so I'm really happy about that. So thank you guys for watching today. I will see you guys in that next video. Yeah, I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride. This one's for who knew I make it, just needed some time. This one's for my wife. Could have left a thousand times just so by my side. This one's for the grind.